Another good principle, reading, being guided by a focus on the great root truths, not just the fruit truths. And what I mean by that is that um, to give the lion's share of our reading to those books which deal with the most fundamental objective realities behind the Christian life. So the character of God, the work of redemption, um, you know, um, the, the, the walk of the Christian with God, not primarily running to what I think of as kind of shortcut books or quick fix books. So how to fix your marriage, how to fix your church, you know, et cetera. Um, Jeremy, how, have, how has you pursued reading with regard to kind of root matters and fruit matters? I think that's an important distinction. Uh, I think, again, we, we've already talked a little bit about how uh, the same sort of thing happens with, with preaching. You have people who say, well, I, I want how-to sermons. Tell me how to fix this, how to do that, you know, five steps to this. But the it's, it's that principle, isn't it, of laying a foundation so that once you get the foundation laid, once you get the major building blocks in place, once you have the cornerstone and the, the other key elements, then you can begin to build up uh, onto that and around that and from that guided and established. So if you get the bedrock principles right, if you know who God is, if you understand that the nature and the character of the Almighty, if you begin to understand the person and the work of the Lord Jesus, if you're grasping something of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, then there's going to be a fundamental uh, reorientation or calibration so that with regard to some of these other matters, they are falling more naturally into place. I mean, you could preach or, or write a book or a hundred books on a particular topic, but if you're not properly uh, in union and communion with God in Christ by his spirit, if you, you don't understand the nature of regeneration, the pursuit of godliness, then all of these things are going to be disconnected from the, the root itself and the fruit then will never truly come. So I, I, I'd agree with you and we're not saying don't worry about the fruit. You have to cultivate the fruit, but that fruit grows on a plant that is established in good ground. That root has to be right if the fruit's going to be healthy. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to The Whole Council on your favorite podcast app. And it does help whenever you're able to leave a comment or a question or write a review.